Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tim and welcome to a Saturday night stream. I know, I know, where the hell have I been? Trust me, I've been working on some stuff and oh my god, has it been a headache and a half. But don't worry, everything is fine now. That's the important thing. And we're back here to play more Sekiro because uh, when we last left off with Sekiro, my computer couldn't handle it. Once we get to this point in the game, there's so much going on. The fire, the flames, the ash, the snow, the death, the lightning, the killing, the murder, the mayhem. It was too much. It was too much for my poor, poor computer to handle. And it was too much for me to handle, quite frankly. Uh, so I got very pissed off at it and did not play it for about two weeks. Basically, since the last time we streamed it. Um, and then I installed these new parts. Oh, mama. And so now that things are back running smooth again, smoother than smooth, smoother than they ever have before, uh, we're going to pick up where we left off and hopefully actually be able to finish this game this time because um, I sincerely thought about just leaving it behind. I really did. We put a lot of work and effort into Sekiro, but I feel like we kind of got Sekiro. And so me personally, I don't feel a need to finish this game. I don't. I, I know. I know we put so much time and effort and energy into this game and yet when that happened I lost all give a fuck to finish the game but I went back last night and I went back and found that poison boy who gave us so much problem and stutter before and I put my sword in his fucking throat and that made me feel better so, uh, we're back, and we're gonna continue playing, because honestly, I do really love this game. Like, yes, it's been ebbs and flows, but, uh, oh boy, I need to finish it. The melody. The melody. Was it you? You did this? Oh boy, somebody else who's mad at me. Give it back! What melody? What are you so mad about? I hear no music. Uh-oh, uh-oh, he's got me up against the wall. That's a bad place. Uh, he's got like a Sephiroth-sized sword. I don't know if I approve. Uh-oh, ah, oh, I almost got Makiri. That would've been nice. Cause he's already fairly worn out. Ugh, he hits like a dump truck. Back up, back up big boy. Daddy's gotta heal. Uh -oh. Ah, that was a jump one. Okay, so he's got a Makiri and a jump counter attack that we'll have to look out for. Ouch! As well as that rushing uppercut that hits way faster than you would think. And of course, now he's gotten the chance to completely rejuvenate. Uh, let's do this again. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Ow. Ooh. I had to dodge that one. I couldn't get out of the way in time. Nice. Almost. Got him. Oh, come on. Nope. Oh, that was... I tried to Makiri it, but that was not a Makiri attack. I'm sorry. Your music has faded. God, he wasn't even, I mean, really like a boss or anything because he didn't give any special items. He didn't give any money to speak of, and he didn't give a lot of experience or anything. Okay. Um, let's see. How hard was it and how many times did it take me to rebuild my computer? It took me three times. Exactly three. Uh, so I got a refurbished motherboard. That was my first problem. Uh, and that board would get to the part where it would have to recognize the CPU and it would fail. Uh, which sucked. Sucked a lot. And then, ooh, I know where that is. <gasps> This is where the letter was dropped down. That's back down in the cell where I was found. And there's somebody down there. <laughs> I'll finish this story first, and then we'll get into another count, another kill counter. So um, uh, I installed the motherboard. It didn't work, and it would basically not show anything on the screens, and I was really pissed off. And uh, I basically got so upset and overheated that I ended up throwing up that night and saying, fuck this noise. I can't get this upset. I'm getting old. It's not healthy. So I went to bed. And then the next day, I one day shipped a new one, not a refurbished one, a brand new one, over here, plugged that up, and it worked just fine. Bam! Booted right up. I only had one stick of RAM in there, my CPU, but not my GPU, and um, it booted up. 
but when I loaded up all four RAM or all four RAM chips and the GPU, it stalled out again. Ugh. So I ended up having to call Asus support, uninstalling everything, re uh, like physically uninstalling everything, reinstalling everything, and then it worked. So three times total. Not bad. Really, not bad for replacing a fucking motherboard and CPU. Also, I have only one use of my healing potion left. I should definitely go and heal somewhere. Urgh, where was the closest thing? Where was the closest thing and will I be able to get back here without getting myself murdered? Mm. That's going to be a tough trick. Because there were a lot of enemies over here if memory serves. Uh, I think that it was back over here and then at the top of this because we're at the old grave marker. I'm most likely going to have to break into this micro PC of yours. Uh, something related to the thermal paste inside of the computer to fix heating issues. Yeah. Yeah. Thermal paste is a bitch. You would think that something as simple as a pea-sized dab of thermal paste would be easy to apply. It is not. It is not. It is a giant headache, and if you get it wrong, it will destroy everything. Um, it's, it's crazy to think that something so minuscule and so... Uh, ultimately frivolous would basically be able to fry an entire CPU and motherboard if done wrong. Jesus, Jesus, I have alerted the entire county to my presence. It's okay, they can't get me underneath the house. Get underneath the house, Sekiro. Good job. Hmm, although I don't got, I like the guy with the pots and pans. Guy with pots and pans being able to, can I? Yes, yes. I can murder from underneath the house. The murderer was cup was underneath the house the whole time. One more, one more, one more. Ah, oh, nice. Fuck you. Now you die. All right. Everybody seems to have forgotten about me for the moment. We're good. Oh yeah, yeah. That's definitely an overheating problem, then, Noble. And um, I mean, if it's too much or too little paste, that's a problem. So it's, it's finding that exact right amount, and oh boy, is that just annoying as hell. Excellent. You will be alerting no one this day. Hmm. But this guy was definitely special enough to warrant not coming back to life when we rested, so I don't know who he was. But I didn't take the melody away. Alright. There he is. So yeah, this definitely seems to be a boss because he's got two circly circs. So I guess let's drop down huh, and get rid of one of those. The long shadow or the lone shadow long swordsman. Oh, okay. So he seems to fight like one of those poison ninjas, like the one I just destroyed. I'm imagining. Oh Jesus! That because this is a tighter corridor, huh, that's where some of the challenge is going to end up coming from. Is he going to have the poison hand, like his friend? Or is he just going to use punches and kicks? Wow, did I just jump off of his air jump? I think I did. Which is pretty dope. And that's... Oh, come on! I'm sitting there pressing the fucking button to do the, the kill move. There we go. Awesome. Get that rust off the blade. Lubricate it up with some blood. Scrap magnetite, ooh, and a prayer bead. Hell yes, hell yes. That makes me very happy. But he didn't use any poison attacks. I am very surprised. I am very disappointed that I did not remember that the, uh, the entrance to this is closed. And it doesn't look like there's any way for me to open it from here or at all maybe. Huh. Ain't that a bitch. So. Wait a minute. We can dive down here now. What's down here besides more Jesus statues? Ooh. And a balloon of soul. Hmm. Yeah. It looked like there was a, I don't know, something over there, but not so much. Okay. Cool, so just an item, we're good to go. And, whee! Up and out of here. Wait a minute.
That's right, I could not come here the first time because I didn't have the grappling hook to be able to get up this wall. Oh dear. So now we're back down in the abandoned dungeon. I don't like this at all. Uh, what do I think of the new Elton John movie? I really want to see it. I got to tell you, I love Taron Egerton. I think he's a fantastic actor, and I will sing the praises of those fucking Kingsman movies till the cows come home because they're wonderful and everyone should see them. Um, so I... I know that Taron Egerton himself is a huge Elton John fan. I know that Elton John signed off on the movie and says he loves it. So I really want to see it. I think it's going to be great. I haven't seen any of the reviews for it, though. But to be honest with you, I haven't even had time to go and see John Wick 3, which I really want to go and see. Um, so like, I've got some movies to catch up on, I will admit. What do you think? On that ledge or all the way down? I'm thinking on the ledge here. Whee! Yeah, because there's a little prayer statue. I'll say a little prayer for you. Forever, forever, I'll stay in my heart and I will love you. Sorry. Hmm. But then there's the heartbreak for me. I don't even know if those are the right words. I don't care. I like singing them. But I think I saw a loose item down here. Yes. And I don't see any enemies just waiting in ambush. I'm clicking the stick. So I think we're safe. He says. If mortal last words. Because there was not anything to fight the last time we were here. I remember remarking very clearly that no, there was a boss here. It was something about my ancestors. And, and uh, people of my clan. Uh, something thousand souls. I, I, I don't remember exactly. I feel kind of bad for that. All right, then this is the place to jump down here with the old lady who wanted more rice. Did I have any more rice? Will you be? What? If you can you over the deck? Do I need to go down to the depths? I don't think I need to go down to the depths. I think I need to try and go up. I mean, I know I need to go back to the castle. I mean, I guess I could use the, the shrine if I really wanted to. Um, but let me just make sure that there's no other way. I really don't think that there is any other way for me to go in here. Yes, and actually, thank you for reminding me because I don't have my uh, <clears throat> handy-dandy list ready and available, and I should. Because I know my next step, like what I actually need to do in order to continue the story quest, and it's it's continuing on killing Owl. But, because uh, right now we've kind of done everything else. Yeah, exactly. So I think really all I'm going to end up having to do is go back upstairs to the castle and travel back through it. I just wanted to make sure that I wasn't you know, missing anything else. Oh, I guess. Yeah. Oh, that's the one I'm currently. Duh. So then the Ashina Depths, that's still all available. I want to make sure that none of the other ones got uh, locked down on me. Cool. So then. Castle Tower Lookout's where we need to go next. Although, I can't go to the Great Serpent Shrine anymore, which is curious, because that was where we fought uh, the big battlefield where we fought the guy with the spear, Oniwa. General Oniwa. And, uh, it makes me very worried. Let's put it that way. So, I guess back to the top of the castle, and let's pick up where we left off. Fighting Owl. Once again. But this time with the advantage of actual frame rates. Because I hope it actually does look smoother. It, it, everything is running on a much higher level now. So I'm hoping that like with, with 
the actions and with all the effects and everything, we have less of that artifacting that comes with, uh oh, running in high, you know, all that kind of stuff. Ah, Krimbus. Jiminy Krimbus. This is not at all what I wanted. Not at all what I wanted. I totally forgot about him and that I needed to sneak the hell out of here. So as to avoid him. Okay. Well. That's not going to be of any use. Let's go with the Mist Raven. That seemed to work really well. Um, I don't know if I should use that or... Hmm. Far-reaching attacks, lighter enemies struck by the spear, maybe dragged towards the wielder. That's not really going to work there. I can't tear anything off of him. Although, that's going to help a lot. Sharp thrust attacks from the prosthetic tool damage an enemy's vitality and posture even through their guard. So between that to knock him out of the air, this to really be able to pierce through his guard, and the Mist Raven Feather, if I miss a block, I'll be able to Mist Raven Feather out of the way. My Nightjar Slash to be able to close distance quickly. Uh, and I don't really need any ninjutsu right now. Um, I don't think I need the Divine Confetti. No, I seem to remember that helping, actually. I don't remember. Ceremonial Tonto confers vitality, no. The sweet rice ball contains medium vitality recover and constant posture recovery over time. So I guess if I really need to, I can pop that off. Or the divine grass, which fully restores all of my vitality. Anyway. I think we've got enough ninja tools that we should be okay for this fight. Let's see what the hell happens. He's twice as big as me. Such a miserable display. I've already made my choice, Father. Why? We know what happens here. But Why just for the sake of keeping up, let's watch it again. Also, do I need to turn it up? Can you guys hear it okay? Even with me chattering? A code must be determined by the individual. This is what I've decided. Just as my master did. Cool. Good. Thank you. Yes, with my favorite shot. I love this so much. I'm going to steal this one day. It's just such a beautiful shot. Huh. Seems you've grown, if just a little. Have it your way. Really, Harwood. Now this is a yeah. great cutscene. It feels very Kurosawa. You know, it feels very Rashomon-esque, and I love it. The cinematography of that was so good. You got it, Papa. Uh-oh. Yeah, look out for the poison. That was the stomp. Oh, Jesus. Maybe, maybe, maybe our first fight fact should not have been our dad. But, you know what? I'm always willing to give it the old college try. Nope. Fuck your green mist. You have to do better than that, Papa. Uh huh. If I can get closer, there we go. We can get in a hit there. You know what? I'm gonna try this spear out. See if I can nail him on that once or twice. Come on. Ow. Without getting nailed myself, of course. 
Love it. Went ahead and dodged that shit. No, Papa, no! Yeah, gonna work on chipping away at it, baby. That's all we gotta do, just chip away. Chip, 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 chip away. Uh-oh. Let him disengage so that we can heal. Good, good. Crap. I was too busy dodging and I couldn't do a uh, uh, counter. Oh, Jesus. So, yes. note to self. I'm sensing some insubordination. No thrusting attacks. Okay. Okay. Noted. Hmm. One thing I'm not quite sure on is whether or not Owl has a third phase after he dies twice. Ah, I get it. And yes, I know I could have revived, but honestly, it was way too early in the fight for that. So, there was no reason for me to, to do that. Now that time, we went ahead and escaped a lot easier. And now I can just walk up here. Alright, so if the spear is not useful, then let's go ahead and get something that he can't necessarily counter. Um, can I set... I mean, can I set him on fire? He's kind of covered in feathers. Yeah. Yeah, it is noble. And it's quick XP too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just get on with the fight. Enough talk. Been a while since we did this. Give me your all. It's it kind of sounds like Clancy Brown, doesn't it? Kind of sounds a little Mr. Krabsy. Or is that just me? Yeah, love you too, Dad. Okay, so useful tools are the firecracker, the shuriken. And the Magnet Umbrella. Noted. Jesus. He knocked me back for a country mile. I'm gonna... You know what? When, next time he goes up in the air, I'm gonna try and hit him with a sure can. Do you think I can? Sure can. Oh, I missed. That did not help at all. Go, go. Ow. Chug, 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 chug. It helped absolutely none. But it looked good. Hmm. I wonder if dodging is maybe better than countering because while I I don't necessarily want to do posture damage to him right now, I want to do damage damage. So that I can be able to do more posture damage on the regs. You know what I mean? So like while it's great to be able to counter him, just so we can learn the patterns and stuff. When he does those big attacks like that, it is way better just to hammer on him. Like that, at least for now. Got him down to about a third health. Okay. Good job, Daddy Dearest. Start getting a little slow in your old age, old man. Nope, I missed. Oh, really? So he was the voice of Jay Jonah in the, in the uh, PS4 Spider-Man. Okay, cool. No wonder he sounds familiar. We do have that voice uh, fairly recently in our memory. Oh, re- <laughs> Nice. You and Noble are basically reading the same page, huh? So he's also the voice of Arden, one of our favorite villains of recent history. Okay, good, good, good. That's good posture damage. Jeez, Rugen! Thank you very much for the raid. I appreciate it. Hi there. How are you all doing tonight? Oh god. Oh god. I'm just getting my ass kicked by my dad. No big deal. How are you all? The parent is absolute. Look, I don't obey your rules. Yet 
I'm sensing some insubordination. I don't gotta listen to you, Dad. Okay. I need to heal. Oh boy. And I somehow maneuvered off my healing items. Come on. Got it. Go ahead and get in another hit or two. Ooh. You gotta love those tight hitboxes in this game. Boy, howdy, does that save your ass so many times. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. And see now that posture damage is actually starting to stick a little bit. Oop, get out of my way. Get out of my way, old man. Good. Two big hits in there. Uh-huh. Uh-oh. Dash forward there. Good. We can get in a hit or two before he can even do anything. And... Here comes. Uh, got it. Big counter there. I see you, Dada. I see you, Dada. Get you some. Uh. Uh huh. Calm those nerves, Sekiro. Oh, no! Here I go dashing forward instead of to the side and getting murdered and oh my god. I am so shamed. I am filled with shame. 5 a.m. Oh wow. Well, I know that Gita appreciated you staying up so long to watch their stream. And have a great night, cute. Thank you so much for dropping in. Oh my god. Cannot believe that I fucked it up that close to being able to take him down. And I mean, yes, it would have been only the first one, but I would have been able to revive myself again. And that would be nice. That's like half the fight. Let me go ahead and uh, change the firecracker over to the magnet umbrella. And then we'll go on. Oh, really? Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Why, boy? Enough talk. Been a while since we did this. Really? It feels only like minutes to me, father. I really should use the Mist Raven more often because it would be really nice for some of these blows that I, I miss, you know? Like if I had been able to Mist Raven around that unholy heaven smash, boy, would that would have been really fucking handy like that. See what I mean? Just being able to get the hell out of the way for a second is almost way handier than being able to do damage to it. Because I can do that on my own. Oh. Cool. Watch me beat up my father with better hair than me. Ow. Yes, your timing is weird, but it's okay, I'm learning. Dash forward, get him. Nice, great job, Sekiro. Trust the blades. Trust the blades. They will not fail you. Unlike your father. Nice. Toss him into his own fucking poison. How about that shit? Ow, oh boy. What is that, isn't that a poison? Oh, it keeps me from being able to heal. That's right. But it doesn't keep me from being able to use my mystery feathers. So as long as I can get around that, we're fine. Good. Let me back up, get some posture back. Yeah, that's nice. That's what daddy likes. Of course, immediately gone, but hey. Get it back, get it back, and uh, counter. Okay, we're doing good. We're doing good. I know it doesn't look like it, but we are doing good. Because he's already well beyond where we had him before. Uh, well, not well beyond where, where we got him to, but well beyond where he was at this point in the fight last time. So I'd say we're hammering on him pretty well. No, I don't want to run through the shit again. So let's take the long way around. Wait for him to make a mistake. Come on, Papa. And then that means uh, big overhead strike, which I should have dodged. But ow, uh, I'm not locked onto him anymore, so that wouldn't have worked very well. Ow! Back it up. 
three. Ah. I was expecting more hits from that. Woo! Opportunity for me to get some damage in. Uh huh, that was the big hit right there. And it comes so fast, too. I mean, you really only have a second to be able to parry that shit. Less than. And it's, there it is again. Uh, uh, get back. Get back, Papa. I wanna try and keep my healing ward uses to only a few more, cause I need to have some left for the second half of the fight. Nope. Mm. Okay, I gotta revive still, it's okay. If I can go ahead and get the kill off, uh, I'm not looking at him, I'm not looking at him. There we go. That's yeah, that big hit, good. If I can get the kill, then at least I can go ahead and get a revive back, which would be really helpful. What you gonna do, father? That shit again. Should be, uh, big hit, two, three, love it. Oh God, there's the fourth. Was not anticipating a fourth that time. Uh, fuck! Fuck! I get so panicked. I get so panicked when things start going awry and I just... <sighs> this is a tough fight. He does so much damage per hit that like you can only afford so many mistakes and in the heat of the moment you make a lot of mistakes. <sighs> yes, I can deflect the shuriken. But it requires two quick presses in succession. And then the third for the overhead hit that comes in. It's difficult to time. Not impossible, but difficult. Unthinkable. Okay, here we go again. Why? Enough talk. Been a while since we did you. Nope, <laughs> that didn't work. I was gonna try and take the aggressive approach and be able to hit him first thing, but did not work out as planned. Two, oh, okay, good, only two there. Uh-huh, one, two, oh, there's the third. Back it up. Let's get our pellet on. Two. One, oh, oh God. One, the parent is absolute. Their will must I'm hitting the button. I'm hitting the button. No healing. That sucks. I'm gonna fight through it. I mean, I, I know I gave up the first time. I'm gonna try and fight through it this time and see what happens. Because we've come back from worse odds before on harder enemies, so fuck it, you know? Wow. Ugh. I haven't seen that one yet. And I was too far. I was too far to be able to take advantage of that. Am I running instead of dodging? Is that what's happening? I don't understand. Like, I'll try and dodge, and sometimes I can deflect out of a dodge. Sometimes I can't. Maybe it's taking to the back instead. I, I don't understand. It's very strange. It's It feels like the controls are fighting me there. Because normally you would be able to just kind of sidestep in a circle around the enemy and continue fighting. But it really does feel like when you sidestep Owl, you sidestep with your back to him. And then you can't deflect from there because your back's to him. Unthinkable. It's very strange. What? No other boss has done that. Enough talk. Been a while since we did this. Okay. Let's let's take that into account. And change strategy here. Stay away from the poison. Good. Punish where we can. Run where we can't. Here he comes with the overhead. Great. That's a good couple of hits. Good. 
Hey there, Juno. Welcome. Glad you could join us, dear. Oh, no, that didn't work. That didn't work very well. Good. There's that overhead smash that I almost ran directly into. I don't know if you saw that. That was real close. Fuck. Hmm. Sometimes I can avoid them. Sometimes it doesn't. There's that big kid. Good. What you going for, daddy? Nope. Ah. I guess... I guess maybe sometimes I am trying to sidestep when I could or should be deflecting instead. I'm sensing some insubordination. Okay. Let's calm those nerves. We got this. I mean, this is legitimately one of the hardest fights in the game, you know? So there's no reason to expect to be able to take it down as easy as some of the ones that we have. But that does not give me any excuse for poor performance. Fuck. Ste God damn it, Sekiro. Steady yourself, man. Am I getting stun locked? You, you press B to steady yourself after you get hit by something like that. I mean, am I just sucking? Is this boss unfair? Or is it both? It's entirely possible that it's both. I don't think it's both. I hope it's not both. I would be awful embarrassed if it was both. Unthinkable. All right, Daddy Dearest. Fourteenth time's a charm. Boy, boy. I can do this all day. Enough talk. It's been a while since we did this. Give me your all. What, you think I have it already, you fuckstick? I mean, maybe I should just lie here. Maybe I should just go ahead and lie here. And let 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 the inevitable happen. I don't know. Maybe I'm trying to be craftier than the game actually is, you know? By by trying to be faster and like split second timings and stuff, but the animations just aren't aren't that. I don't know. Maybe the timing is different now that uh, I'm playing with the new CPU because things are running smoother than before. Frames affect this game, you know, like the the difference between pass and fail on a block is a matter of frames. So that would make a difference, a huge one. And then of course getting shurikens right to the face doesn't help, but you know, it would make sense. and got a lot of our defense back there. Oh. And we're back in the muck. It comes with that shit. All right, fine. I'll give the firecrackers a shot. Nope, 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 nope. I didn't have time to readjust myself after coming out of the pause menu. I it really is like every time you would try to dodge around him, Sekiro dodge, dodges in such a way that turns his back to his dad. And then you can't do anything after that. You get hit once, you try and break away from it, you get hit a second time, and then you're usually dead. And if you're not, then you get hit a third time, and then you're dead. No other enemy has really been like that. I mean, I know it's going to be very satisfying when we do win, uh, win but man. Okay. 
Okay. And I also have to remember my leap, which does a good bit of damage too. And that's what I should be using to close distance. To do that. Anytime I'm able to punish that move, it should be with the Nightjar Slash and nothing else. Because it's a great count, it's a, the perfect Punisher move for a reason, you know? You know what? Stop. Hammer time. Nice. We're getting a little bit of posture. Some good counters in there. Good. Ow. Uh oh. He completely broke my blocks there. Aha! Nice. Well, I could not take advantage of it. Okay, good. The healing, uh, the healing curse is gone. Okay. Come on, Pop Pop. You gotta give me a chance. Uh huh. Good. Nice dress lad. Nice. Punch, punch. Cool. Cool. Sneak in a little hit there. I uh, got 12 more spirit emblems. Uh oh. Ouch. I was expecting the uh, the overhead slash. He did not. I guess that's the difference. If it's one shuriken, then it's going to be the uh, the running charge. If it's two, it's going to be the overhead slash. Overhead slash. Nice. Okay, good. That is kind of uh, a good thing to predict with, it seems. Yep, there that is. Good. A little bit of punishment in there. And... Oh, no, I expected him to rush a lot quicker. I was going to do firecrack, firecrack, assist, boom, ba! Bugs buddy, bugs buddy, rah, rah, rah! Good. Now he's under half of the first tick. But hey, it's progress. Some progress is better than none progress. Okay, come on, pop, pop. That's two, and wham! Get him! Nice. Nice night jar slash. I do really love that attack. It is so handy for closing distance like that. Really? Your firecrackers do damage? Well, that's just... Uh-huh. Cool. Firecrackers. Nice. Cool. Block that shit. Fuck you, Dad. You don't own me. You don't own my healing. Bam! Nice! Block that shit too! Suckalo! Cool. Nope, that's gonna be the anti-healing. Almost there. Oh boy, almost there. Come on, daddy. Come on, daddy. And I'm talking to myself. Not him. Cool, cool, cool. All's good, all's good. All's good in love and war, which this is both. And I, oh, I should have used the Nightjar Slash from the beginning. I knew it. I was saying it out loud and I was doing the wrong thing. Uh, nope, nope. Let's see, let's back away. I need to get some health back before I try and take him out. But I think we're almost doing it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Back it up. Back it up, Sekiro. That shit ain't going nowhere. That shit ain't going nowhere. That shit ain't going nowhere. That shit ain't going nowhere, Daddy. But to your grave, son! Uh. Wait! Wait, please! What? Why? Wait, what? No, I am not approaching. I might have been born at night. It wasn't last fucking night. Can I kill him from here? 
Can I hit him with anything from here? There we go. Yeah, I ain't trusting shit. Fuck you, Dad. I know Shinobi tricks. That was a trap. That was a trap. Oh, poison? All right. Cool. We got poison now. An acrid poison that stays on the field for a while, it seems. Wow, that is on the field for quite a while. Hey. I had to check out why, uh, oh, the Streamlab thing was freaking the fuck out. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Okay. I guess that's just a blinding agent to kind of mask everything. Oh, that's more poison. But I say it's no longer uh, shurikens anymore that I can dodge around. It's poison. Nope. Tried to dodge. Shouldn't have done that. Nope. Shouldn't have done that either. And unfortunately now I only have the one revive. Uh. Okay. Come on, Tim. We can't get caught out like that again. We're too close. This has to be the one. Good night, dear. Thank you very much for hanging out. I appreciate you staying longer than you had originally agreed to. Hope you have a wonderful night. Hopefully see you back here soon. Thank you again. Nope, that Pop Pops didn't help at all. Not against my Pop Pops. And more acid. God, I can't see shit. I can't see shit. Getting caught in that corner is the worst. 2-2, two, two, and there's that. Nightjar Slash. I know exactly what to do there. Does he just appear somewhere else? He absolutely does. It's a fucking teleport move. Okay. I see. I see how we're operating. Uh-huh. Back it up. Back it up, Sekiro. We're good. As long as I don't keep getting caught out by stupid bullshit attacks, we should be okay. It's not like the new attacks that were added to his repertoire are especially dangerous or really new. You know, there's kind of a lot of the same patterns in different order or with different attributes like that. But if I can just keep the pressure on, not fuck up, which is the hard part, we should be okay. Famous last words. Two. It's that, which means Night Dark Slash. Good, good. Nope. Back it up. Here it comes with that. That gives me time to heal. Excellent. I'm sorry, chat. I can't, I can't pay attention right now. You'll really have to forgive me. I promise I will pay attention to you as soon as this fight is over, but he is under halfway dead now, and shit just got very real. Here comes that again. Dodge, counter, counter, fuck you. I will punish every time, daddy. Ain't gotta tell me to punish you, daddy. Oh no, he recovered his posture. That's fine, he recovered his posture, but not his health. That's what I'm hurting right now. I want that health to go down. Fuck a posture damage. Ah. Well, since that's gone, I can go ahead and now switch out for the antidote powder. Get ready to run. <laughs> <coughs> and be able to cure the po poison when it happens. Cool. All good. Uh-oh. That's the blinding. He's going to appear somewhere. Cool. Uh-huh, uh-huh. That's fine, father. I am prepared to deal with you this day. You shall bother me no more. Yep. Back up from the acid. Good, good, and he's recovering posture again. Don't care, don't care. If I gotta beat you on health, I don't care, Mike Tyson. I'm gonna beat this fight any way I know how. Even if it is on rounds. There he goes, he disappears, and not getting me this time. Look out. 
You're gonna hurt someone with that old shotgun. Hey, what's up, Doc? Yeah, you gotta remember, guys. You're talking to a man who powered his way through Mike Tyson's face. I'm gonna win. I don't care how long it takes. I mean, it would be really helpful if he would give me those opportunities to hit him more, because that's, that's the challenge getting down to this low of health, is making those opportunities for yourself. Otherwise, you get killed. Look out for that. Nope. Okay. The good news is, every time we keep clashing and he keeps doing that powder attack, we're in the middle of the stage, and that lets me run around like a banshee. So I don't have to worry about nothing. All right, come on, father. Come, father, for the good of the kingdom. Is that, I think that might be this game's for the good of the tribe. Uh, coming a little bit late, but it's okay. Sayings can come from anywhere. Hurt. Oh, no, I didn't help. No, 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 no. And I've got that healing curse on too. I can't let that healing curse be the thing that kills me here. No! I got caught up against the fucking statue. That was close. That was too close. Come on, do something, do something stopping. Do something that'll stop you. Good, just like that. Excellent. Woo! Okay, now, I'm, now I feel confident again. Yes, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. My confidence comes from a bottle as well. The only difference is this bottle is a healing bottle and not a liquor bottle. So I think it's okay. Uh-oh. Oh, I can't believe I blocked that shit. Fuck you, Dada. Fuck you, Dada. Uh. One more noise you and hit. Come here, you stupid monkey bird, and take my sword right in your face, neck and chest. Finish him. Wow. You taught me well. Wow. That's my boy. Shinobi. Execution. Wow. That was awesome. Woo! Woo! I'm sorry, baby. I scared the crap out of the cat. Woo! Oh my god. Thank you very much, GJ. I appreciate that. I, uh, <laughs> I enjoy myself. Uh, let's see. Hey, hi, how are you? Glad to see you, Jean. Glad you could join us. I will say this, the old motherboard phrase uh, would be an absolute nightmare with all the smoke bombs. Yeah, you're not right. You're absolutely right. The old motherboard would have been a fucking insane possibility there would have been no way no way and so uh yeah i'm really happy that i just kicked his fucking ass hey so it wasn't me in the past that stole the branch from the ever blossom tree it was dad dad killed the ever blossom tree and so as such it is right with nostalgia uh, call me whatever you would like, Sean. I'm honestly used to answering to much worse these days. <laughs> uh, Takeru would likely gaze upon this branch once it bloomed, reminded of home. One of the incense ingredients sought by the divine air for mortal severance. So there we go. Is that all three pieces to the aromatic fragrance? I think it is. Nope. Not that one. Attack power. The battle memory of an extraordinary foe. The great shinobi owl's unbridled ambition was to obtain the power of the dragon's heritage. Now it is time to let one's true name ring out across all Japan. It was all for the sake of this ambition. Sad, father. Sad days indeed. Wow. That was, that was, that was rough, man. What a great fight. I know. I bitched about it the whole time. 
But in the end, it ended up coming through. Now, what is this? It's like a deer skin, some antlers, and a broken pot, but... I mean, I, I know it's hard to look for deeper hinter, uh, hidden meaning between everything, but there's got to be something, right? Okay. And we can open this door back up so that we can escape through here. Wunderbar. Oh yeah, there was a headless down there in the uh, in the lake. I remember now. Yeah, see more of these antlers in pots. Hmm. Haven't seen those before. Anything over in the library? No, I'd imagine not. Okay. Well, what do you got to say, Lady Emma? I'm glad you've come, Master Wolf. I have nothing to give her. Master Wolf, it looks as if. Your brow is less furrowed than before, if only a little. <clears throat> Please, see that Lord Kuro's wish to sever immortality is met. Goodbye. I will do my best. Ha! Ah, nice. Nice, Harwood. I'd be chunking them all over the damn place if so. <clears throat> okay, so let's see here. Retrieve. Holy Chapter Dragon's Return. Do I have that? I think I did that. Yeah, Holy Chapter Dragon's Return, so that's good. Two serpentine fruits. Divine Child, give her both fruits. Done. If you've not done it already, beat Owl. Incense. Okay. It's time to light this shit up, you guys. Wolf. I am relieved to see that you are safe. And Owl? I killed him. I am sorry. Lord Kuro. I am sorry. I did what had to be done. Wolf, thank you. My father, this was in his possession. Now yeah, the branch. The last branch, branch from the Everblossom tree before it died. It's from the Everblossom tree? I see. So Al had it. You know, yes. Harwood? A That's a real- that- that yes. is just fine yes. enough and just right. subtle enough of an answer that I believe it. That's that's the story that I'm going to go with in my head. That yes, that pot is where the branch of the ever blossom tree was hidden the whole time. My lord. That is a great oh, great theory. So that is the stone for the fountainhead incense. What a peculiar shape it is. Yes. It had been made into some sort of shrine. So it was just as Lord Takeru wrote. Yes. Yes, also that's exactly right. Um, sweetly scented so it's a play off of, uh, on the altar. gosh, there's a word, Seki something or other, that is a slang term for someone who is one-armed, and then it also plays off the O, which is the beginning of Okami, the word for wolf. So it's a two-part smashed together portmanteau. Lord Kuro, that place might be the gateway to the divine realm. Hmm, I see. Sweetly scented, meaning wrapped in the fountainhead incense. Indeed. That is what it might be referring to. So I think we gotta burn it, son. Where was it again? Wolf. It wasn't here. Once we make the fountainhead now. Okay. Place them all on the burner. All the parts go in the burner. My lord. Wolf, the mortal blade. Yep, got it here strapped to my back. I will only make a shallow cut. Would you draw the mortal blade from its sheath? Yes, my lord. Forgive me, but close your eyes. Yes, my lord. So that way they don't have to show a child cutting himself and it's potentially so censorship. How was the wound? I'm fine. I just made a small cut on my chest. Mm. Okay. So this. It's the fountainhead incense. It's so extraordinarily nostalgic. Well, you probably have smelled it in past well, lives. Do you notice anything different? The aroma and fountainhead palace. Those words have been burned into my mind. Fountainhead like incense. Palace. It's just as Lord Takeru wrote. 
that place must lead to the divine realm. But okay. how can the Fountainhead Palace be reached? A sweetly scented bridal offering. That was written on the altar where the fragrant stone was placed. Yes. Bridal offering. You now carry the aroma of the Fountainhead incense. I believe the path leading to the Fountainhead Palace will open before you if you go to the shrine within the cave. Ah. Uh, uh, oh! They're talking about the pagoda that was lit up with that shaft of light that I was like, no, this is going to be something really important that's in the wedding cave. Oh! That makes so much sense now. Okay, cool. So now that I am bathed in the incense of Fountainhead Palace, I will be able to reach it. Wait. Wait. Something about this doesn't feel right. Because if I... Also, I still haven't been able to get out to the Great Serpent Shrine. How do I get out there? Do I want to go out there? I think I want to go out there. Because here's the thing. So I get the idea of purifying yourself before you go into heaven. Um, but the idea of coating yourself with a scent in order to be able to take yourself somewhere. That almost sounds like uh, uh, how you would coat yourself in, in some sort of scent for creatures to be attracted to you. You know, in order to be able to either sneak up on something undetected or to have it want to eat you like you would cover bait in pheromones you know does that make sense so like I'm not saying that's what this game's doing but I've seen more fucked up things you know Ooh, what the hell's down here now? Because this was not open before. Also, this was not able to be dived in before. Hey. Don't suppose there's anything around me. Yeah, also true. A way to ward off predators going into a place like heaven. But what kind of predators would be in heaven? It's heaven. Oh God, treasure carp, treasure carp, come here, come here. You know, you come here. No, you come here right now. You come here right now. I'm gonna chop you right in half. Oh, I'm gonna get you. Oh, I'm gonna get you so good, carp. I'm gonna get you. You come here, you come here. I'm gonna slash you with my sword. Oh, I'll get you next time. There he is. Nice. I don't even know how many scales I've got now. Hmm. Hell am I? Oh. This is that other place that never really went anywhere. And I guess now that route connects the two. Neat. Who? What? Where? Something spotted me. Oh, there's fighting going on outside. Okay. I was like, what the hell is going on? And I'm back at the reservoir? Not where I wanted to be. Not at all. Uh, let's see. No. Okay, they're kicking ass over here. I need to run. What is this? 
We can rest here and reset everything. Hmm. Yeah, this... And see, here's the thing. I did not do that. Is it censoring those bad words? I didn't put that in place. Streamlabs just implements new things sometimes and it gives features that sometimes you may not want. So is it like actually censoring those words or is it just giving you a warning, hey, don't say words like booby? <laughs> Or during a break or something. But yeah, absolutely. There it is. This is the field. Cool. This is exactly what I was hoping to find. Huh. Ooh, piece of candy. Oh, jeez. Unfortunately, we got spotted again. Let me get over the wall. And oh, that's so far down. Oh, god damn it. That's so far down. I don't want to jump down that far because we're going to die. Ledge hang. Fuck it. Nope. Can't make it down that way. <laughs> okay, good to know. You can't just drop right down to the floor. Oh no! Oh no! The little imps! That's bad. Those guys hurt. Okay, so if I can't get down there that way... Hmm. Whee! Oh wait, I could probably use the axe to be able to kill them instantly, right? Oh really, Jean? I, I do okay in heights. I'm not like the best at them, but I, I can do okay. As long as the situation is fairly under control. If I'm like up on a really high ladder, as long as it's a fairly stable ladder, I'm okay, you know? I'm not like gonna super freak out. Oh God, what's happening? No, it broke my back, my neck, my back. Ugh. Broken chest like that, oh no. Okay, so let's try going this way. Whee. Can't go one way, we'll go another. Hep, hep. You know what's funny? As graphics and games get better, I start to get vertigo from from video games as well. Like the higher fidelity it is, the more likely that if we go from a high place to a low place, I'm gonna be like, oh. Uh oh, he done spotted me. But he's also a dead man, so it don't matter. Nice. 686 experience for that. Wow. And scrap magnetite to boot? Ooh. In the moat. Shinobi are in the moat? I didn't experience any Shinobi in the moat. <clears throat> All I found was treasure. Anyway, what about this way? Cause see, I need to get to that that place down there, and also to the serpent shrine. Those are two places that we have not been able to catch up with since coming back here. I get a heart stop every time you have to drop from a far height in the caves. But there's a is that a Harry Potter reference? Is that a Harry Potter reference, Noble? Okay, let's try this again. This will take us in through the other side. Hey, we know where you come out here. Wee. Wee. 
We. Uh huh. You fucked that up, didn't you, big boy? Jesus. I don't know if you're aware of this. I just killed my father. What chance do you think you have? I mean, a good one is the answer to that. Because <laughs> these guys really are the worst to fight. Short of that one lady with the sniper rifle who kept murdering me with grabs that followed you for no reason. This guy's one of the worst. You know what? Fuck this. I'm out. I ain't gotta stay. Uh, you know, as much as it pains me to admit it, I'm kind of a basic bitch. I've always assumed, uh, I've always figured myself much more of a Gryffindor than anything else. I, I will definitely admit to that. Okay, I think I need to go through the castle and then down around the other side. So maybe... If I can get him here on the side that's walking away to go completely away, far enough away for me to be able to sneak up on your friend, and bam! Get that instant kill that lets me sneak in here. Good. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky sneaks. Thankfully, there's nobody in this room. Uh, the one thing I'll never get over is the fact that Harry sees that he has the stone in his pocket in the mirror and suddenly it appears in the stone because it's not w about what you want, it's how you're gonna use it and all that shit. Yeah, I know. That was an annoying little twist, but I mean, I always feel like JK Rowling writes herself into a corner anyway, so there's only X amount that you can do to get out. Screw it. The mirror of Erised had to mean something for Christ's sake and then never show up again. Just never show up again. Ooh. New eavesdrop. Yeah. The tide will soon turn against the planet. Never was a faster hero monster to become our enemy. If the old lord falls, we'll be defeated quickly, no doubt. I'm wondering, though. If that happens, will we still get paid? Is There's no point in running away with an empty purse. Is he just talking to himself? I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm guilty of that too, but... Stream? Let us... Get that ready. But I'm gonna try... A little distraction tactic. I've never really been able to get this ceramic shard to work like I want. Okay, that worked exactly like I want. Got him. Cool. Very happy that happened. Thank you, game. I appreciate you finally working with me. It's like it heard all my complaints during the owl fight, and it's like, you know what, Tim? You're right. You were right. We were being kind of dickbags before. Let's fix that. Oh, wow. The poison guy, instead of landing on me, it landed right on the general. I wonder who's gonna win this fight. This, this I wanna see. Like this is actually a fight I would pay for. Cause that general was a bag of asses. There should be much more of an even fight than normal. No, nope. I mean the poison guy's still gonna win. Especially if he actually gets some poison in on him, but the general's definitely gonna hold his own. Should I call running commentary on this? And that was a beautiful dodge from the Poison Ninja. Coming in like a, well, Poison Ninja for the kill. But the General's not done yet. He's gonna throw that, thrust that sword as hard as he can. All he's gotta do is get the pommel in the right place. Oh, and the General is down. This is gonna be a rough one, folks. The General's really gonna have to come back from this one if he wants to survive. Oh, he's, oh, recovering posture. Great move there by the General. But he's only got so much health left, so let's see if that helps. He's still having to block a lot of blows from that poison ninja. 
Yeah, I think we see how this one's going, folks. Well, the general certainly fought well. It's looking rather rough here for him, folks. And the general is down. And somehow I got 124 experience for that? Cool. I mean, I'm certainly not gonna complain. Ooh, awesome. The old grave, the actual old grave. Which means we are on the right path towards um, the open field there. Hmm. Anything changed out here at the old grave? No. Does not appear to be anyway. Oh, yeah. Who wants to eat a million pears? Make sure there's nothing underneath. Uh, was it there? Our friend Buzzy Beetle here? This is where we originally met him, yes, but he's not here in a moment. Uh oh, that's right. There were our favorite friends, the Cannon Boys and the Tangu. I almost forgot about them. Whoa, he just fucking kamikaze. As is that one. Jesus. Okay, this is this is nuts. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Fucking Sekiro. Thank you. Okay, they left out as well. Wait. Really? I got a thousand experience for that? I didn't even notice. Ooh, and I see one up here that I can murder on my own. Why, hello there, my friend. Chunk! <laughs> So satisfying. Wow, that is a butt ton of HP. Might not it be worth it to go back and forth and just kill a bunch of people here later? Probably. Yeah, see, down there is where I need to go. Real bad. I can't just jump there from here. Oh, am I a dumb? Am I a big dumb dumb? <sighs> I think I might be a big old dumb dumb. Because that floor isn't on the castle grounds. It's before the castle grounds. So if I go here to the Ashina Castle Gate and just backtrack, I'll get there. General Oniwa was not after we got to the castle. He was before we got to the castle, you stupid mom. <sighs> that man's about to get murdered. So then I guess... That's right, we couldn't necessarily get back out that way because that's where the bull was and the bull broke the gate. Well, we broke the gate with the bull, with the bull's help. Hmm, okay. New strategy. God, it's like you just hear the, a roaring fire somewhere, but I see no flames. And once again, I have to ask the question. I feel like at one point, the game told us about a map. I don't remember where it is, but I feel like at one point, the game told us about a map. That would be really handy in situations like this. Does anybody else remember that, or am I just going crazy? <sighs> and 
it doesn't look like there's any way for me to get over back to this side of the gate without going this way, so fuck it. Ugh, back and forth. Forth and back. When all I really need to do is just go to Fountainhead Palace. Like, that's all I really need to do. But... I can't just leave well enough alone. There's an enemy to kill. There's places that I haven't been yet. Or revisited yet. Okay. So now we're good again. Hopefully... Yeah, see, I need to get back through that way so that I can go down and around. That's where I need to go. It's not letting me go that way, but that's where I'm wanting to go. Yeah, see, it's going to block the fuck out of me every way I want to try and go this way because it doesn't want me to. Okay. Well, you know what? Here's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to travel back to the dilapidated temple. Let's go ahead and see if we can upgrade anything. Uh, and then we'll take ourselves a short break. And and when we come back, we'll press on forward. Does that sound good? Yeah, I think that sounds good. We've been going at it for a little bit now. So I'll go ahead and stretch my legs. Rest. Beautiful. And let's go check out that upgrade situation, shall we? We've gotten some scrap, extra scrap magnetite, which might come in handy. A true, I think I true. need to like some look on your face, Tim. Fulminate, or something like that. Now, uh, let's see. I need two more materials to be able to get the leaping flame, which will add fire to my fucking spear. Uh. And then I need a few more things in order to get the Great Raven Mist Feathers. Uh, wow, which would allow me to leave fire whenever I use the Great Mist Raven Feathers and, like, dash off to an area. It leaves a trail of fire behind me. The Purple Spark. Uh, let's see. Enemies blinded by the blast take slightly more vitality and posture damage for a short period of time. Nice. And then the Malcontent. Cost Spirit Emblems to use. Drives beast mad, torments apparition type enemies. The Kingfisher's cry could be heard along the waterfront of the sunken valley. Now she cries no more. Hmm. Interesting. Along the waterfront of the sunken valley. I wonder if that's a clue as to where I could find this. The Golden Vortex. I need a few more things in order to be able to get that. That lets enemies drop more items and money. Uh, considered to be donations. And then Suzuka's Lotus Umbrella, which prevents buildup of burn status. Kind of nice. Uh, let me look at the skills that, that are available there, Harwood, because I know that we're very close to uh, earning another skill point, and I was grinding away at him. But I know I acquired a few skills since the last time we have met, so let me take a look at that real quick as well. Thank you for reminding me. I want this one. Breath of Life Light, which allows me to recover vitality upon a death blow. Um, but I believe that the ones that I gained were all over here. Uh, flowing Water, Breath of Nature Light, which allows me to recover posture whenever I do a death blow. Flowing Water reduces the amount of posture damage done when attacked by an enemy with a sword. Uh, then unlock the Ashen Cross ability. Then I also grabbed these guys, the Virtuous Deed and Most Virtuous Deed, which upgrade my uh, item drop rates and the amount of money I get from enemies, as well as the Sinpo Leaping Kicks. Uh, I haven't really used those yet, but it leads on to the High Monk skill, which was very useful under these Mushin Arts, the Combination Arts. I want that Empowered Mortal Draw so bad, you guys, so be it, oh, so be it. But that involves getting over here to the Living Force, and that's going to take a little bit. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back in just a couple of minutes. Don't you dare go anywhere. You're watching this on twitch.tv slash leftist. Thank you so much for stepping by, uh, stepping by Jean. Uh, we'll see you back here in just a couple of minutes. Bye.
So, <clears throat> upon further inflection, reflection, research, development, can't go where we're trying to go yet. I'm jumping the gun. We have to progress the story. That means running back to the inner sanctum real quick because the divine child is done with her writhing and ringing. When last we left her, we left her with the two dried fruits, the, the, the fresh serpent viscera and the dried serpent viscera. And then we eavesdropped on her and she was in intense pain. But now the doors are open. What does the divine child have to say? Oh, Shinobi of the Divine Air? Are you, you recognize there? me, child. Your eyes. Ah, oh, you have returned, are Shinobi you, of the Divine Air. It appears. Are you blinded now? I have succeeded in becoming the cradle. Could oh. you please take my hand? Yes. What? It is cold, much like an ice house, which is why, see? My tears. They freeze as they flow down my face. These frozen tears. Take them. <laughs> Tears that were said by the divine child of rejuvenation once she became the cradle. They are but frozen drops. By having Kuro drink both the dragon tears and the frozen tears, the cradling ritual can be performed. Cold dragon tears are just frozen that. Tears. Does this mean? Yes, I believe this is what the text referred to as cold dragon tears. The divine heir must drink them together with the dragon tears of the divine realm. If he does so, I believe Lord Kuro will be able to rest within the cradle. Okay. So he'll be able to return home at that point. At least the dragon within him. So that's... That's the last thing that we need in order to be able to finish this game. So now all we have to do is head back to the wedding cave door. Wait. There was the waterfront in the sunken valley that had the mount content. Ah, well, damn it. Didn't mean to hit that button. This is the one place I never want to go to again because of that stupid fucking monkey. If I ever see another monkey again, it'll be too goddamn soon. He looks around desperately to make sure there's no monkey here. Woo! Okay. What, wedding cave door. Here we go. So, now that we have the divine incense upon us, the incense of Fountainhead Palace, we should be able to walk right into here, back to that pagoda that was hidden in the misty moonlight. I don't want to know what you mean, Harwood or Noble. We're not going back there right now. This, here, this pagoda in the misty moonlight. What the fuck? Why didn't I notice the giant rope hand? Pray. That's what I thought. Welp. That man is dead. Very, very, very dead. That's how we get to heaven. Via a mighty Mokujin doll that has a log for a penis. Huh. So this... This thing, this, this rope man... 
is actually a very big deal because um, you'll notice that a lot of the temples and a lot of the sanctuaries in this game and in, in Japan have divine ropes. Those divine ropes made up of jute, much like this, are, are to purify, are to, are to uh, contain evil spirits and keep them from getting inside of the temples and stuff. So it would stand to reason that one of these ropes would be what escort us over, but it's still very fucking weird. And, and, I mean, is he dead? Or is, I guess, as dead as something like him can be. Let me grab that item. Thank you for the pellet. And I guess we'll climb over his outstretched arm. And pray. Here we are. We made it to Fountainhead Palace. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the afterlife. It's not quite as... Angelic as I was expecting. Uh-oh! The corrupted monk. Oh, no. <gasps> the corruption has reached heaven. Oh, no. Okay, so if they're corrupted even here, does that mean the infection came from here? Not able to do any damage to him. That's not good. How do I get to be able to deal damage to him? Or or do I only counter? Because I will say his posture is not going down very much. So maybe I just counter. Ouch! Okay, yeah, I can do little bits and pieces of damage, but not much. Yeah, I th I'm pretty sure this guy is all counter. Ooh, you make an excellent point, my dear Juno. Let us try that divine confetti and see how well it works here. Right, and there's that. Now, doesn't help as much as you would think. Which sucks. Yep, that hurt. But I'm right there with you, Juno. That should work. Because, I mean, we are hitting a, a divine spirit after all. But it doesn't seem to work like you would think. Okay, let's retain some posture. Because he can't. Good. Inflict a little bit more to him, because why not? God, he's got three fucking bars of this. Oh my god. Where did that come from? Oh boy, that hurt. All right, Sekiro, I need you to step the fuck up here. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of the antidote powder. I'm gonna bring out the pellets, get ready for his attack. Fuck you. The extra posture never hurt anybody. And pellet. Cool. Here we go. Ouch! God damn it! Elsewhere, Kuro is on the god, uh, on the old Google. Yeah, most likely. Or how to kill oneself. Okay, so there's gotta be something that we can use against him. I don't know if a firecracker is going to work necessarily. Definitely not the divine abduction. I guess I could try the spear. His armor doesn't look like it fits very well. I don't know. Let's give it a shot. Nope. That didn't work. That didn't work at all. Okay. Uh 
Fuck. So then in that case, let's put on something that's going to increase the amount of damage that I do. Yeah, to vitality and posture. Okay. There we go with a little bit of Akos. Ouch. The dash did exactly the wrong time, too. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Nope. I ended up just deflecting that last one instead of, uh, just blocking that last one instead of deflecting. Which is what I need to do. That was my favorite Nakiri, but I didn't get it because, well, didn't see it coming. There we go. That got it. A little bit of extra. Fuck you. Nakiri. Nice. There it is. One down, two to go. All right, Monk, what you got second form? Oh, no. Oh, boy. I don't like this. I don't like it when the enemy can just appear places when they want to. Do I got to dispel illusion? No, I got to get murdered. That's what. Oh, I see. There he is. Okay. I guess I just had to survive, which I didn't. So let's try his skin. And it looks like it's gonna be relatively the same drill. Famous last words, of course. But, if I beat my father, then what the hell does this spirit of the afterlife have to hope for? Oh, no, no, that's not, that's not something you dash. That's something you jump. Drink again. God damn it. Ah! Ugh. Getting rusty. Getting rusty. Old rusty crusty. Nope, that didn't help. And here he goes with this bullshit again. Get me out of here. Get me the fuck out. Get me the fuck out. Can he get me up here? I don't know, but I don't want to risk it. Yeah, that's exactly what these are for. Fucking out of here. Out of here. Oh, God, get out of here. That was very close. Get thee behind me, Satan. And of course, that gives him plenty of opportunity to recover some posture. If I can get another death blow off on him, then I can have my revive back. And we'll be looking in good shape here. Gotta go. God, uh, exactly the wrong time too, because we were getting him pretty close. Ah. To a death blow. Yeah, I have a feeling he's gonna be able to hit me up here too. Okay, he's back down on the ground. Nope. And remember, we've got another form to go through too, so I can't use all of my healing. Even though I'm very tempted to, because I'm out. Rice. Rice is gonna help a ton. Okay, fuck you. Fuck you, ow, oh, he hit me. But that rice lasts for a long fucking time. Ah! 
and heals a lot, so... Oh, no! And I fucked that one up, too! God! He keeps giving me these amazing chances to counter him, and I keep fucking it up. All right. Nope, that was the... Th that was not that. And here we go again. Damn it! Wait. So he does appear in places for a brief second. What? Snap seeds? I mean, you yell at me like I'm supposed to know that. Sure. I'll give you the old college try. There they are. Full contingent of 10, too, so that'll be helpful. There he comes. Let's do this again. Now that we know exactly what we're supposed to do, just counter and murder and counter. Yep, counter. Counter again. Ow. Excellent. Okay, when he does the illusion, use the seeds. Done. Oh wait, you know what? Uh, I should go ahead and have the pellets too, so I can just be chunking off little bits of health that he takes away. Nope, that's, that's not a Mercuriable. Heal thyself, physician. Damn. He likes to clear a lot of distance so that way he can use the full length of his pole arm. But if we can keep kind of up close and personal, this should be over sooner rather than later. Fuck. Okay. Ah, got him. And got him. Two more. There we go. And bam. Done. Oh. Stage one complete. All right, so there he goes with the illusion. Let's snap it. <laughs> snap it, I say. That did not work. That did not work, Juno. I am sad to report, snap seeds did not work. Let me try it from up here, fuck it. Huh. Okay, it worked from up on high. So I guess, get up in the tree. Then snap scene. Crap! That was my beautiful Makiri counter that I love so much. Uh huh. Makiri. Good, good. Got it. Got it. Got it. Nope. I didn't get that one. Nope. Tree's in the way. Tree's in the way. I'm fighting the camera. Camera is the worst enemy in this game. Okay. Love it. What else you got, big boy? Nice! McCurry that crap! Oh, no, that's not McCurry. Alright, Krimbus. Krimbus Crackers, we're out of here. Whee! And we're gonna try and snap seed this shit once more. Okay, yep, that's it. You gotta get up in the trees. You can't be in the illusion to break it. Or at least, so it seems. There it is. Number two. Suck it, corrupted monk. You're not getting me today. Oh, boy! And he is transforming yet more. The corruption is apparent. Gross. Okay. Seems like now he's not going to be worried so much about keeping distance. That's a death grab right there. Oh my god. Ugh. And his posture comes back way quicker now. 
So I think we just gotta take it to him, boys. And hopefully not die. Oh, no, 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 no. Yep. A little too late, I saw that. Fuck off. Fuck off, thing. Nasty. Uh-huh. I mean, the good news is, he loses posture at an insane rate, so if I can just get off a succession of attacks... Ah! We should be okay, but... He is vulnerable to firecrackers in this phase. Oh, because he's got a beast in his head now. So that's good to know. Let's try that. Oh, nope, that's not gonna help. Come on, biggin. Firecracker! Did nothing. Maybe they gotta land in him or something. Nope, that's not what I wanna do. Firecracker! There it is. Cool. That did help. Let me get off four free hits. He's just actually gotta be in them, I guess. Nope, that's the spear. I don't know why is the spear. And I am officially out of healing items. Uh, except for the sweet rice ball. Oh, and I died. At least I still have the effects of the rice ball. Nope, lost that last one. Come on. Excellent. One, two, three, four. Nope, that's death blow. Fuck you. Firecrackers. Good. Keep on going. A few more. Firecrackers. That worked. Keep on. Keep the recovery. I don't even care anymore. Nope, recovery's gone. Okay, we got one last firecracker in us. And one last hit on him. Come on, big boy. Run towards me. Nope, that did nothing. There it is. Yes! Fuck you, Corrupted Monk! Thought you were gonna get me this day. Mortal Blade. Up the slide. Wow. And then, like, his immortal spirit was freed. And then the centipede died. And we got the memory of the Corrupted Monk. Battle memory of an extraordinary foe. Commune with the sculptor's idol. Corrupt monk guarded the bridge leading to the palace. The dragon's tally board. A tally board carved from a large piece of jade. Possessing this increases the stocks that can be purchased in merchant socks, uh, shops. Neat. Only, uh, such a tally board is highly praised by the merchant class. Old custom dictates that those of dragon rank are recognized as supreme merchants by the imperial class and should be given the best possible treatment. Neat. And so we did it. We earned our entrance into Fountainhead Palace. Uh, we enhance our attack power by two. Oh shit, I, ah, I meant to read that. Um, that would be in our inventory, under key items, under remnants, true monk. The corrupted monk was among the infested, standing over the Fountainhead Palace. Indeed, immortality would seem a fitting quality for an eternal watcher of the palace. Her true name, was Priestess Yao. Hmm. So, <clears throat> it seems that this corruption, while gross, is just a valid mechanic of heaven as far as this world of Sekiro is concerned and is a way of obtaining immortality to be able to watch over Earth. And that's what the monks of Earth wanted. So they took the immortality that they found from Dragonhead Palace that was coming out around the, the soot, around the inner sanctum, around the child of the fountain. That's, that's interesting. Uh, no, Juno. It was not a male. That was a female priestess. And so we have reached Fountainhead Palace, a place that is literally just at the end of the world. I 
balloon of soul. And we found another mist keeper here. This was like the mist walker that was guarding the village. So they really are divine creatures. Interesting. Gross as they may be, they are divine. And we are murdering them. But so is the life of someone who wants to sever the bonds of immortality. Gotcha, bitch. He has piped his last tune this day. And there's another behind this screen. I hear you playing. I see you dying. Good night, sweet princess. But I'm wondering what all these green mists are around everywhere, and if that's something mystical that I should be worried about. Okay. I don't see any chests or any other goodies around here, so... I guess we've done all that we came to this particular building to do. God, it's so pretty. It really is. And it's just... At the end of the world, so to speak. Hmm. Okay, there was an item here in this birdcage. Don't mind if I do. Ooh, light coin purse. Uh, wall grab? Wall grab! Nice! Let's me get up to a vantage point and be able to take care of a few guards that are around here. Okay. Yep. Hmm. And indeed, there is a monk practicing. Tai Chi and or yoga out there. Crap. He done seen me. Huh. He looks like those mer people. Oh boy. Uh, there's archers up on the top levels. That's not good. So now that we're away from the archers, let's try and take her on. Sounds like a female laugh. Then it. Yeah, that's definitely female. And I recognize that attack pattern. It's like there's Tengu that we fought on top of the mountain. Or on top of the castle, rather. Shit. And though I activated that last shrine, guess what I didn't do at it? Fucking rest. Well, if I go and rest now, it'll end up reviving all the enemies. Oops. And it was all the way back up there, too, wasn't it? Like, I don't even think. Yeah, I'd have to use the homeward idol just to get back up there. There wasn't one down here, was there? Not yet, anyway. What are the odds that because you're in heaven, you have to fight the enemies that perma died? Like some kind of boss rush mode? Possibly. I will say this, I am... Um... Oh wait, I've got two pellets. That's all the healing items I have left. And there are three archers up on that roof. Let's go make their lives hell. Shall we, boys? And girl? One, two, -hoo. a three. Three archers, ah, ah, ah. Three souls who shall die today. Excellent. One down. Number two. Are you unable to grapple up the way you came down? No, I can't. I had to drop quite a long ways, unfortunately. 
Now, I will say this. The fact that most of this area is diveable water <laughs> fills me with dread. A lot of dread. I do not want to do that bullshit. We're going to have to. I don't want to. Got you too. I'm sorry, mermaidy. Mermaidy? Merlady? They do sound like our impressions of Miranda, no? And they've even got heaven dogs? Hmm. I'd imagine that if I blew the, the whistle, I could probably make them turn on their masters, but I don't have that unlocked yet. Okay, anything of note and or value over here? This looks just small enough to hide something in. Like thyself. Chunk. Chunk. Good job, Sekiro. Way to keep yourself hidden. Eel liver. And then there's two more pup pups over here. Chunk. Chunk. Nice. Now if we can just keep our wits about us. There's a shrine right there. Fuck you. Those dogs look very weird. I don't know that I want to get an up close and personal view on them. Here we are. Another shrine. Yay. Hot damn. Daddy can actually rest here. A water wolf. Hmm. Okay. I see this mist walker here. Ew, look at the grossness that he's leaving on the floor. Don't you do it. Don't you turn. You son of a bitch. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what's he doing? What are you doing? Why are you stealing my soul? I need my soul. Hmm. I don't know what attack he was doing. Excuse me, young man. Hi. You... You talking to me? Young man, please be careful. The I know, everything around here. Have a craving for the vitality oh, of the it drains they my health. Help themselves. They want nothing but to sap away more. It's like those ladies in the dungeon in Dark Souls 3 that sap your max health. In particular, it is a cursed. It's crawling with palace nobles. If you must forge ahead. You'd best go around it. Uh huh. Why are you? I have a, a favor to ask. It's about your father. father is now a noble, and the moment he became one, he found himself entranced by a carp, the great carp. For a long, the great long carp. time since, he's done nothing but feed that cursed carp, young man. Please. Release my father from We've the heard of the great cart before from the guy in the jar. I know my father wouldn't wish for an eternity like that. The great carp is here? In Fountainhead Palace? Bite down. The secret shinobi tool that lets you feign death. Okay, uh, I guess we do have to go out in the courtyard, unfortunately, despite her warnings. And I wonder if after we defeat the Great Carp, if we defeat the Great Carp, we come back over to her. Found up of the close-up of the dog, and yes, it does in fact look gross. Alright, Kribbis Crackers, you see nothing. Oh, it's that one over there, too? Oh, not just this one, huh? Interesting. So we can interrupt his channel like that and enfeebled. Which means my health is way low and I can't revive. Wow. 
Okay. So he sucks away all of your health, makes it so that you can't move or revive, and then stabs you in the heart with his fucking flute. So go around, okay? I mean, we have to, you know? Although they do die very quickly, so if I can get the jump on them, then, well, they don't stand a fucking chance. I just gotta get the jump on them. It's hard to do that when there's a lot of them. Okay, let's see if I can get one of them to kind of expose themselves over here. Maybe come in here. Get their ass whipped. Seems like that's enough. But, they can't suck the health of, up of what they can't see. So if they can't see me, they can't enfeeble me. Crap. Wow, and I can't even really attack when I'm enfeebled. That's bad. I wonder how long this lasts. Here he comes. He is running for my ass. Ha! <laughs> Stab. Please give me my health back. Okay. So now we know. The only way to cure that enfeeblement is to kill the thing that enfeebled you. That's gonna be rough. You guys, that's gonna be rough. And it doesn't give you back your health. The health that they took, it stays took. Hmm. There's another mermaid awry. Don't suppose I'm silent enough to get around it. Oh, shiitake mushrooms. Nice. Sure as shit am. And I can get up against this wall, which will make him have to come around here to get me. Not gonna get me that way, Junior. But he is gonna keep trying. Not anymore. Nice! So I guess that might be the trick. They can start their sucking, but you just gotta make sure they don't get you. Oh. Yeah, I agree, Harwood. This whole area is not as heavenly as I was expecting. That is for sure. But if they're just as corrupted in this place, then what are we doing here? I don't know. This is weird. Hmm. That's a pagoda with an item in it. Another mist walker. Alright, let's get this mermaid over here. So that way we don't aggravate the noble. I think I can brute force my way through her. Excellent. Takes care of that. He's gonna try and suck my soul. He's gonna have to come closer if he wants to do that shit. That, that feeling when you ended up in Hector Mundo instead. Good reference. Good reference, Harwood. Alright. Takes care of all of them. Now we got the guy that's inside, but he's got some goodies next to him, so let's see if we can't get the drop on him and get at those goodies inside. Whee! Okay, so I'm gonna drop behind the screen. Oh, I didn't drop behind it, I dropped on it. That sucks. For him. Take that lump of grave wax. And also that pellet. Nom 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 nom. Mmm, samurai pellet, so good. I don't know though, I feel like there's got... Hmm. 
Interesting. Oh. It's just a little water hidey. Hole? No, it's not. It's a water hidey hole that leads to an inside. Hello. This has got to be something good. There's a lot of shit in this room. Yoink. Treasure carp scale. Hot damn. Treasure carp scale. Whoa. Three treasure carp scales in one room. And inside of the chest. Water of the palace. A cup filled with divine waters, a drink popular with nobles of the palace. When a wedding procession arrives in the fountainhead palace, this is the drink they are greeted with. The nectar of the palace nobles. Go ahead, drink to your heart's content. I don't think I want to drink that water. Something tells me that water is the problem. Like, not part of the problem, the problem. So maybe let's maybe not drink the cursed water. Mm. Yeah, I gotta kill them in order to be able to get through that door, unfortunately. So... They're looking for me. They're looking for me. They're looking for me. The one with the spear is gonna find me. And as soon as she runs up here, that gives me the chance to jump down here and get him. Oh my god! We just got shocked in the water. So it seems like these ladies up here might be ladies of Tomoe as well. And have those same lightning abilities. And because I was standing in water, oh, that ended up being real bad for yours truly. Turn the water to the Mibu village priest. Oh yeah, okay, awesome. Yeah, we'll definitely be able to do that. Uh oh, yeah. You caught me, you caught me sneaking up on you. Oh well, good thing you couldn't do anything about it. And we've got another shrine. Hooray for progress. Flower viewing stage, where we shall rest, gain back a lot of our uses of the Poshi Posh. And let's take a look in this pagoda first. Or, um, this little housey here. Ooh. More divine confetti. It's as if they're setting me up for something. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Who just destroyed the bridge? I don't want to know. We well, just destroyed the bridge. I am now absolutely mortified. Like, before I was doing okay, we had our handhold on this situation. Know how to kill everything with my sword. I hate the sea. I hate giant creatures of the sea. And I'm gonna have to deal with whatever the fuck that was. I don't know what it was. But it's down here. Scrap magnetite. The light coin purse. Okay. Oh, Jesus! What just electrocuted me? And there it is again. I'm getting shot by something. That's what that is. What the hell? Yeah. That's some sort of lightning shot hitting me. I can see the strikes coming down. From right there. Whoever the fuck that is, he struck me down from afar. Wow. OBKB. And what's even more fucked up is he can see me in the water. So I can't even, like, approach from here. And the projectiles in the water become even more massive. 
So there's zero chance of me being able to escape that shit. Wow. Who the fuck is he? And how do I get his power? Damn it. A little bit of rot essence, but it'll be okay. You. True. A user of, of, of Lightning of Tomoe is probably going to be a female unless it's Genichiro. If it was Genichiro, you'd think they'd give a little bit more pomp and circumstance. Hmm. Yeah, I'm thinking we're going to want to go a sneakier way. What that sneakier way is, I don't know. There's a lot of ladies around here. Like a lot. Two playing kickball in the yard there. These two coming around their patrol path. And then another one coming right behind them. Jesus, tap dancing Christ. You think he's here in heaven somewhere? Brute force, brute force, brute force, brute force. Fuck. Brute force, brute force, brute force. Got it. All right, takes care of those two. Wow, so many ladies here. Got you. Let's go ahead and get the hell out of the way. <laughs> oh, she jumped down here too. I was about to say something like sucks to suck. Oh, Jesus, that's a lot of spinnies. Aha! Suck your tome away. Suck my tome away. Okay. More muck dogs over there. Easy enough. Whew. Eel liver under the waterfall. Would increase my lightning resistance a little bit. Handy when there's all these lightning ladies. Mmm. That sounds like a very sexy band. The lightning ladies. Whee! Oh. Okie dokie. Fine. If you want to take me on from over there, then sure, let's do this thing. But I don't know that you got the range for it, babe. Whee! Whee! Hmm. And here I am at the top of the waterfall, able to see a good distance. Does not open from this sign. Those nobles don't look so good back there. Kind of squirming around and just eating whatever's in front of them. Something tells me that's not a good sign. And here she comes just as slowly as you please. I don't know what you plan on accomplishing. Unless, of course, your, your friend with the bow ends up coming up here. Uh-oh. We should be fine. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, and yeah. Nice. Alright, so your friend with the bow. Yeah, they're gonna be doing some bullshit like that. Figured. Ah. Lady archers being the best archers in the world? Gosh. Ooh, get out of here. Because I gotta kill the one that's been shit, uh, hitting me with lightning. Shit me with lightning. Yeah, just shitting all over me with that lightning. Hmm. It would appear that in order to get out to that tree, we must continue further over. But I am very concerned about this place and the mysteries and dangers that it holds. 
What did I aggro now? Oh, another little muck dog. Come here, muck dog. Uh oh, they shoot lightning too. Well, that's just terrifying. As if they weren't already awful. And you. What the fuck are you? I don't know, but it's a boss. It's got two health. So let's let our beautiful pellets do some work here. And then I'm gonna try and sneak off one of those bulls. Uh-oh. Well, found me immediately. That sucks, that sucks, that sucks, that sucks, that sucks. That's a lot of fear, that's a lot of fear, that's a lot of fear, that's gonna be dead. Oh, Jesus, and dead. That's a lot of fear that he's able to inflict, and I can't do much about it without... Damn it, passed it. The pacifying agent. Jesus, and that fear just keeps on coming no matter where I go! God damn it, son of a bitch! Huh. <sighs> I knew I, sh I should have just tackled him from the air. I knew I should have just tackled him from the air. Hmm. And I lost 5,000 experience for that. Damn it. The second I jump back in the water, this bitch is going to do her thing again. Ah! Ah, now I'm in shock. Ah, 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 ah. Wow. Holy Crimbus Crackers. What if I just swim straight forward? Nope, still got me. Jesus. Okay. Note to self, don't fuck with the Lightning Queen. Whoever she is, that lady's good at her job. Yeah, that's the tree that I've been trying to reach over there so that I could kill that lady and be able to dive in the water. Fuck, I'm in the water. Fuck, I'm in the water. I'm in the water. Okay, I'm out of the water. Ah, and I got got in one shot. All right, all right. I think we've reached a stopping point for this evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is midnight. We started a little bit later, but I think we got some pretty good goddamn progress. And uh, I've reached a point where we think we can call this good. Um... <laughs> we'll come back here what well uh you know so here's the thing uh the day job just let me go for a little bit um it's okay i'm drawing unemployment and like i will go back in in august so it, this is like a pre-planned layoff type period uh which means a lot of my days have suddenly just got a lot clearer i know i've said that before but what I mean by that now is I wonder if this might be a good chance to throw in a few more daytime streams. Uh, actually, Noble, I'll tell you this. Like, to be frank, um, I'm actually getting the same amount of money between unemployment and my other side gigs between uh, that I would be getting if I was working. So it actually balances out fine. I am fine. Monetarily speaking, I'm fine. Um, I just actually happen to have a lot of extra free time on my hands. So hopefully what I'm going to try and do is work out with Mike a way that I can work uh, some evenings with him and that will give me some daytime to be able to do some extra streams here. Uh, might be a fun way to kind of get some people who normally wouldn't be able to come because it's too late for them or, or I know we had some people join us from the UK at certain points especially when I've been able to do daytime streams and I've got a couple of other games that we I would like to play. Uh, there's one that just came out from the people that did uh, Stories Untold called Observer that looks incredible. It's another uh, very, like, fuck-with-your-brain horror uh, mystery game. And I really want to give that a shot. But I also want to finish this, and we're so goddamn close. Even closer now than when we started. Like, by leaps and bounds. So... I don't know. I need... I guess I need more opportunities to sit here and play video games for you guys. So, I'm gonna try like hell to work that in. 
Uh, hopefully over the next couple of weeks, I'll be able to adjust the schedule, see how that works out. And then of course in July, I'll be gone for a couple of weeks. So like, hopefully I'll be able to finish it all before we go. And uh, yeah, I think that about covers everything for tonight. Thank you all so much for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed tonight's stream. I know I certainly did. I'm glad to be back, and I'm glad to be back in a way that keeps us being able to work. Like, I am, I can't believe how awesome this upgrade has been, and it worked out really well because now we can play games that we love even at the highest possible goddamn fidelity. Like, everything is turned up to ultra right now. Everything. Shadows, ambient occlusion, Okay, except for uh, motion blur and depth of field. I hate motion blur and depth of field because I like being able to see for hundreds of miles. And I don't need your cinematic blurring in order to make my motions good because uh, my frame rate does that. Thank you very much. So, anyway. Happy to be back, guys. We'll see you back here. Same Tim time, same Tim channel on Tuesday. And as always, see you next time. Bye-bye.